So hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to transform the simple looking digital elevation model like this into an improved terrain visualization raster like this using ArcGIS. So now let's get started. So now let me explain about what is, uh, a digital elevation model is. So a digital elevation model is a digital representation of Earth's surface elevation data. It is typically represented as a raster grid where each cell or the pixel has a value corresponding to the elevation above a reference point, usually a mean sea level. So DIMMs are the fundamental datasets in geographic information system and are widely used for terrain analysis and modeling. So the digital elevation model can be shortly called as a DIMM data that is DEM digital elevation model and the DEM is a type of raster dataset where the each pixel value which represents the the elevation of the terrain at a specific location so as you can see here the higher elevations are represented in red color and the lower elevations are shown in green color and now let us take a look at the characteristics of the DEM data so the characteristics of DEM so DEM consists of an array of uh, square cells where each cell represents a specific area and contains an elevation value. The resolution of DEM is uh, determined by the size of the each cell, which can range from a few centimeters to several kilometers. And elevation reference. Elevation value in DEM are referred to a vertical datum such as mean sea level or the ellipsoidal height. The coverage, the DEM can cover a small area like the local DEMS or the entire continent like a global DEM. And uh, how to download the DEM data from the USGS Earth Explorer? The video will be given in the description section to how to download the digital elevation model for free. So once you download your DEM data, so you're gonna navigate to this option here. I'm gonna click this option and I'm gonna click this option called add data. And, and now navigate to the folder location where you downloaded your DEM data. So now I have navigated to the folder location and now we're going to select this dem.tiff file and I'm going to click add. So now I added my dem data. So now we have managed to import our dem data. So we can be able to visualize in the table of content section. The highest elevation is around 3088 uh, meters and the lowest elevation is around 763 meters. So from here you can be able to see the highest elevations are represented in the white color and the lowest level of elevations being represented in black color. So if you follow this gradient, uh, we are able to interpret uh, what is the potential va elevation values are. So for, exa ex for example, the whiter tone here which represents a high elevation and the darker tone which represents the lower elevation. So now let us classify this uh, elevation data into uh, different classes. So, uh, so for that, we're gonna navigate to the dim.tiff layer here. I'm gonna right click and click this option called properties. And a new window pop up saying layer properties and in that we're going to navigate this option called classified. So in the classified section we have this option called color ramps. So you can select your uh, desired color of your choice here. So for example I'm going to select this particular color starting with a red to blue shade. I'm going to click this. So I'm going to click OK. So now you can able to visualize our so now we have managed to classify our elevation val elevation data into different classes. And our next step, so I'm gonna zoom in to this uh, elevation data here, elevation class. So you can able to observe there is a pixelated uh, corners here. So in order to uh, remove those, we're gonna navigate this option to dim layer. We're gonna right click and click this option called properties. So now navigate to this option called display. And in that, we're gonna select uh, Resample during display using gonna select this particular option called bilinear interpolation So once you did that I'm gonna click apply watch this corners So now we have uh, managed to remove the pixelated boundaries. So now I'm gonna click ok So I'm gonna zoom out here So from the table of content section here you can able to visualize uh, here the highest elevations are being represented in blue and the lowest level of elevation is represented in red. So now we're going to change this order. So by we're going to right click here. So here you can able to visualize. I'm going to select a red color here. So I'm going to select red color to it. Likewise in the red place I'm going to select a blue color to it. So now I have managed to change the color of it. So you can able to visualize here. 
the lowest elevations are indicated in blue and the highest level of elevations are indicated in in red color ranging from 2300 to 3000 meters so next i'm going to navigate this option called search so now a new window pop up saying search so now in the search section i'm going to enter as hillshade so i'm going to click this option called search and i'm going to click this option called hillshade spatial analysis tool so now we have this tool it creates a shaded relief from a raster surface by considering the illumination of source angle and shadow so we are using a hillshade specifically in order to improve our terrain visualization a bit more vibrant and uh, a sort of highlighting the the variations of the terrain so to do that uh, we're going to in the inset uh, raster we're going to select dim dot tiff layer and in the output raster i'm going to select my output folder location where i could like to save this file so i'm going to save it by the name hillshade hillshade dot tiff i'm going to click save and uh, we're going to leave the rest as the default and in case of z factor so i'm going to leave it as the default as one so in case if you want to refer what a z factor is the z factor adjusts the unit of measure for the z unit when they are different from the x and y unit of the input surface the z value of the input surface are multiplied by the z factor when calculating the final output surface and in case if an, if your x and y uh, units are in meters make sure that you convert your z factor to this particular value called 0.3048 so you can refer from here if x and y unit and the z units are in different units of measure the z factor must be set to appropriate factor so for example if your z units are in feet and your x and y units are in meters you should use the z factor of 0.3048 to convert your z units from feet to meters so now we're going to leave it as the default as z factor 1 so we're going to click okay So now we have our result hillshade uh, layer. We have our hillshade layer. So it's basically uh, the hillshade generates a tool uh, which generates something like this using our dim data. So the hillshade is a visualization technique that simulates uh, the appearance of the shadows uh, on the surface by applying uh, a grayscale shading based on the terrain elevation and the angle of the light source. And uh, in this case, obviously, the lights uh, is being the sun. And uh, basically, what it does is it enhan enhances the, the 3D appearance of the terrain, making uh, features like uh, ridges and valleys and flat terrains and ridges a uh, bit more visually distinct. And uh, if you recall, uh, we have uh, seen a parameter called Z factor. So the Z factor basically adjusts the vertical exaggeration of the elevation values which effectively uh, kind of scaling the height to match the horizontal uh, dimensions. So now uh, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to drag my dim data to the top over the hillshade layer here. So we're going to adjust the transparency of the dim data. We're going to right click on this and we're going to navigate this option called properties. And here in the display section, it can able to visualize I've made my transparency around 20. So now I'm going to adjust to 15% of transparency and uh, I'm going to click OK, apply and I'm going to click OK. So now you can able to visualize the terrain in a 3D effect on it. So what I did is uh, kind of blended uh, these two layers together by uh, reducing the transparency of uh, the dim data that is our dim layer. I have made the transparency of 15% so uh, let me show you that I'm going to turn off this hill shade. So this is the dim uh, visualization. So once I turn on the hill shape, you can uh, visualize it uh, in kind of uh, 3D. So now it kind of looks like an improved terrain visualization compared to its previously. So you can able to see the difference here. Also, you can change your transparency. I'm going to right click on this. Let me, uh, I'm going to increase the transparency up to 25 and let us see the visualization here. I've increased my transparency to 25% and I'm going to click apply. Let us visualize the result and I'm going to click OK. So it's pretty good compared to previously I have applied a 15%. So it's now more uh, 3D. You can able to see that uh, the valleys and the ridges and uh, the flat terrains here. 
So you can clearly able to distinguish uh, different landforms here. The highest elevations being indicated in red color and the lowest elevations are indicated in blue color. You can able to see that. And uh, this is how it's look, the normal uh, elevation versus the improved uh, using hill shade effect on it. So you can able to see the difference here. So in this video, I have shown you how to improve the terrain visualization in RGIS. So thanks for watching and uh, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a like.